Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on my channel. I'm Nicholas and I'm here today with a special 3-in-1 reaction mashup with a JYP girl group special as we're going to be checking out the free, not really newest songs, but free new songs of the free JYP girl groups, which are in this case twice. And mix and itsy we're going to be checking out the live clip for twice's queens of hearts which is a piece from the most recent album which i have yet to check out and react to we did react already to the time track but i just kind of never got to check out the album yet then after that we're going to be checking out the b side of n mix's recent single album which is called um i think cool rainbow stuff like that you know we've already checked out the uh, main music video on monday as well and then just a few hours ago okay i was sadly not home when that was released you know um itsy dropped the newest japanese music video blah 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 given how good their first Japanese music video was. I'm honestly excited for that as well. We're doing this in chronological order though, so the first thing we're going to be checking out is the Queens of Heart live clip. Like mentioned, Talk That Talk was a really, really great title track, and I'm good to see how one of the five B-sides sounds like. Okay, let's check it out. Young, Oh, she looks so pretty with that long hair. Chewy with Blonto, seriously, so pretty. Dayun, she she looked great on that reason. Ooh, Momo. Ooh. Hey, this vibe though. This is not my first time listening to the song, you know. Ion GEO! They sound amazing! Ooh! Whoa! Mina! Hey, this, I love the vibe of this B-Sides. Such a classic old school rock flavor, you know? The good old Towns pop. Oh, such good vibes. Where's Zhang Zhang Do? Zana. Woo. Hey. This vibe from Twice is sick. Such a difference to the Tai Track too, you know. Yes, you are. Oh, but now you're in a Momo and Spex, so god damn it. Ooh. Oh, God. This bridge. This may be one of my favorite twice B-sides from the 20, 25 I've listened to thus far. Hey! This song is awesome! Hey! Hey! with the microphone flip, she was surprised you catch it too. Oh, that's so cute. Hey! Twice Queen of Hearts is awesome! Holy moly, I think I actually remember, like I listened to the highlight medley on this channel with y'all together, but only once, okay? I only do it once with the reaction, then after that I try to, you know, uh, remain as still, remote, uh, still remain as small free as possible, you know, even though I did spoil myself already, but you know what I mean, right? I actually remember that I actually really like the vibe of the song there already, but again, I unfortunately just didn't really get to check out the full album yet. Uh, also had to do with, you know, I didn't really stress myself about it that much yet either because the main music of the reaction didn't do that well, you know, so I was like, oh well, we will see when we do it. But hey, Queen of Hearts is... is amazing, okay? 
Queen of Hearts is fantastic. It's like mentioned really embodies this very old school 2000s pop rock vibe, you know. Not really ever Lavinch, you know, because that is always a bit more fast, a bit more energetic. This was actually a bit more, a bit of a rock pop a lot in some way, right? Like, it had a good amount of tempo in between, but it was really more about the feeling behind it, okay? Really the, you know? Oh, Twice's Queen of Hearts is awesome. That was so good. They sounded great, okay? Especially the vocal line was really, really entertaining. Chaeon with her rap was also on point. Like mentioned, they looked amazing for this entire special too. Generally, this entire setup here is really, really cool as well. I, in some way, actually, this, this entire building does remind me. It, it, it feels familiar. I might be wrong, though. But again, this live clip was... This was such a joy to watch, okay? I've, I really love to use this uh, this word recently because K-pop just brings me so much joy at the moment and this live clip did just that, okay? Twice as Queen of Hearts, amazing song, amazing live clip that was insanely entertaining, I enjoyed that a lot. We were moving over to B-Side from Enmix's newest single album and Wolf, yeah, a German word. Um, the title track, like mentioned, dies in my opinion better than OO. Still not, you know, the, the hugest fan of it, nonetheless, you know, like, I still enjoy it, but I'm still not, like, you know, oh my god, it's saying song or whatever, even though, like, mentioned the switch up with, within it was really cool, but it was definitely way too short, too, okay, the song was way too short. Uh, let's see what the B-side has in store, okay? The B-side from um, the, the first single album I thought was actually better as a as a song in general, even though, like mentioned, the chorus really threw, threw, threw me off on it, okay, it's fishy, 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 beep, beep, you know, just, you know, let's tell we, we're doing something a bit more, you know, on point here, so let's check it out, and makes cool, your rainbow, yeah. Oh, and also, Kia Jin was the one with the red hair in the MV, which went so crazy, she's the youngest, she's 16, what the fuck, that's crazy, okay, come on, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I love this instrumental. Ooh, I love the, the classical influence here. That'd be so majestic. I checked out Lily's Lily Moonjin performance. She's incredible. Hell one sounds great as well. You see what happens when you give these girls a, you know? You see what happens when you give these talented girls a normal song? Ooh. Genie's deeper vocally, really, really. Ooh. Hey. This is the best Amix song. <laughs> this is literally the best song. This is the best ending song! You see what happens when you give these girls a good song? All oh, these long dragged O and U syllables here are oh. Really short though. I don't think we will get anything else here, right? Oh, we have a long outro at least, but hey! A cappella outro here. I think we could have still added like 20 seconds of bridge there or something, you know, just you know, just 30 seconds, like 10 second bridge, and then do the chorus again or something. But this is what I meant, okay? In both OO, or like especially OO and Tank, I said, hey, you straight away see how talented these girls are, what good voices they have, okay? 
what amazing dances they are, but you know, it doesn't really matter for B sets like these. But like they're really sad, hey, for their, for their first comeback, I really hope that they just give them songs that like, you know, that they can actually really show their talent with, or just songs that, you know, don't overshadow it. Because again, OO just, it was just too over the place for me to really be able to appreciate them. Okay, same went for Tank, because while the rest of the song was really good, the Tank chorus just threw me off on the entire song itself. I wasn't able to appreciate the amazing Lily Bridge in there, because I would otherwise have to listen to that just not pleasant chorus over and over, okay? Like, the first single album, like mentioned, really had good, you know, had good things in there, but just also things that just really, you know, didn't really make me like the songs that much. So it was really important for me, just I was really, I really wanted for their first comeback, for their songs to just be... Just better, okay? The, the, the first two songs just really weren't good on the production part. Or at least they just... I don't know, they're just hidden for me, at least, okay? They just really weren't my thing. Again, DICE, like mentioned, 100% better than OO, even though it's still definitely a bit more of an experimental track that I still need time to get used to. But Cool, Your Rainbow is upon the first listen, an absolutely amazing song. The tempo, the vocals, the delivery, the lyrics were good, the melody itself, the writing in general, the, the way to beat and just, you know, the, the, we have these cool little drowned out soft basses in the back or just a soft bass in general that just gives her a good tempo while we have these wonderful classical instruments um, to, to harmonize alongside with it. This was wonderful. This was an amazing B-side. This is literally their best song, okay? Because this time we didn't try to, you know, to do, to, to force a, a big switch or to force, like, you know, trying to, to implement three different sounds at once. Well, no, we, we went for one main idea, we went for one core and really made a thing out of it, okay? We really took one, you know, one thought and didn't try to, you know, bring in 20 more and really, you know, evaluated that one thought into an amazing song, okay? Everybody sounded great. The chorus is wonderful, you know, it has such a lovely vibe to, you know, vibe alongside with. It's the best Admix song. Holy moly, Admix is cool, you rainbow. That was great. I do remember actually that they did have a single release in between, you know, they didn't really get a music video thing, Kiss. I think it was like one of these, um, you know, remake songs or something like that. It was also actually really great. I actually enjoyed that song also way more than, you know, Oh and Tank. But Admix is cool, you rainbow. 100%. Undisputedly, in my opinion, the best Admix song thus far. This is what I want, you know. Again, experimental stuff can be fun and whatnot, okay? We've seen it work before, okay? As was Next Level, as example, is a song that even though it, like, combines so many different sound spectrums into one, uh, it ended up working, you know, in my opinion, be enjoyable all the way through. Oh, my opinion was not that, okay? Just It just never really harmonized as well together. So when you give Seven Talented Girls an actual song... That isn't the, you know, that doesn't want to, you know, be remembered for what it's trying to do with the production, but instead give us a song that wants to be remembered by its members, then you have something as great as this. That makes this cool, your rainbow. That was great. Happy I uh, checked this out as well. Definitely added that to some playlists. That was really good. That was really enjoyable. We're now moving over to our third and final song for us to check out today, and that is Itzy's news music video. Blah, blah. Blah. And as mentioned, if this is just even half as good as Voltage, okay, which was the first Japanese music video, then we're in for a treat, okay? Voltage was incredible. Uh, so let's see Itzy rock it again, okay? Let's check it out. Hey. Yeti Center, let's go. Leah. No subtitles, unfortunately, but. Ooh. Ooh! That color in Yuna! Hey! Bridget! Ooh! Ooh, that's a dope set for Cherry Young! Eh! Ooh! The pre-course decision was really cool, but... Oh, this chorus! Big in the, the deep rock with the high register. Ooh! Again, that you know look a sick butt. Ooh! That second chorus bit was cool. 
That was really enjoyable. Oh. Oh! Yo, that look is sick! Oh, Ryushin is going off though in reverses. Ooh! Oh, that's so cool! Hmm. And the speed has something so ominous to it. So omin ominously majestic, these eyes, though. Yeah, gee! Did she just. Holy. Hey! This blah, blah, blah. This part is so cool for the pre chorus, but. It's it with our register onto Gritty Deep Rock is such a cool combo. Ooh, that's my time! Ooh, cool transition, but ooh. Ooh. The cooldown bridge. Oh, you know, sounds magical. There we are gods. Blah, blah. Ooh, I love this this look though. The mostly black and you know with then the very colorful elements. Ooh. Ooh. That's so cool, but this reaction look though, holy shit! Yeah, she's ice though. Oh, on Yuna too. My god, the visuals! And of course, the crown. Hey! That was so much fun. Itzy's blah 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 was so much fun, okay? It's definitely much less energetic than Voltage, but still, it, it obviously carries the, the core Itzy sense, okay? It's fun, it's confidential, it's just, you know, just entertaining all the way through. Okay, once again, the, the unapologetic, you know, we love ourselves energy. Again, the music video itself, obviously, as simple as it was in the production compared to, you know, the bigger releases, given it's, you know, Japanese release, still really good. Okay, I really love the locations we went for, the styling was on top uh, as well, okay, it was really, really great. Especially this Ryuchin look here is, is absolutely killer, okay. Where's it? Ah, where's the region? Look, this look here with region is is wow. Okay, this this orange dress with this black um wing um umbrella there. While the rest of the you know screen is also with black roses, and whatever. That's so gorgeous. Again, like this bit here, the end too with with um Yechi where she's like mentioned wearing all black and everything else around her is black, but then you know throws into colorful uh, flower petals out of her out of her megaphone. It's such a cool visual aesthetic, okay? But the song too, okay? It's not just a music video yet. Again, the song itself also really, really delivers. It's such a fun and entertaining verse picture, you know, regions verses especially were really, really great. The pre-chorus is a great, great build-up, especially like mentioned this blah, blah, blah drop that really comes in great. And when we then go for the chorus itself, where we have like mentioned this deep, gritty guitar uh, while they have their high register, it really matches well together. And then it's ooh. Bit and also just just really sounds great. Okay, ah, it's delivered again. Yes, she's eyes. My God, could could get lost in him forever. Okay, but yeah, the choreo, the music video, the song itself. Okay, everything delivers as always. It's it just it's it just can't disappoint me. I feel like it's he has yet to ever disappoint me with any of their releases. Okay, it's it's just one of these groups for me that just no matter what they put out, I will eat it up because. I just love these girls a lot, and I don't know, just everything they put out just works for me, okay? Their voices, the way they harmonize together, the way they deliver together, it's just always a hit for me. This party, though, was so cool with uh, Cherry Young, and then, you know, with when she starts the line, and only the last bit was done by Yuna, that was really cool. Like, Benji Riggitton's verses were killer, but... Me, watch me, watch me. Trust me. Oh, that's so cool. It's, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. That was really, really cool, okay? Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of cool highlights sprinkled in in between. The music video was a great watch. The choreo was entertaining. The song itself is really, really great to listen to. It's he just can't miss. That's far, even their Japanese releases have been absolutely incredible. I wonder if we... If we might be getting another mini album before the end of the year, I think it's possible. Wait, when was... Wait, in July we had, um... July we had Checkmate, you know? 
Maybe in December, maybe in November, probably not, but even then, that's still okay, okay? Everything we've gotten this year is far from Itzy, so weapon, voltage, checkmate album, plus no blah 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 has been really really great, so I'm really satisfied with this, I enjoyed this and the other two songs we've checked out a lot, um, and I hope you enjoyed my reactions. If you did, leave a like down below to show me that you did, tell me your thoughts about all three songs down below in the comments as well, and as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, then leave you, uh, gladly leave a like down below, um, no, then gladly. Sub as well, it would help me a lot. Uh, we use each other again with more of all groups involved here, you know, whenever MX has their comeback or checking out covers of theirs or whatever, it will obviously have a B-side that will soon come out um, alongside with the single album. Then, obviously, like mentioned, we can check out Twice's uh, mini album that recently came out, alongside obviously all their other older albums, okay? So, yeah, for whatever content you may be interested in, whatever content you may want you in for, I will see you again soon on this channel. Stay safe, have been happy, have a great time, have a great remaining week, and see you again soon with more range to the groups involved here today or with a lot of other great cable content. Thank you guys so much for watching.